This video will demonstrate getting started with Wago's new eCockpit programming software. For this test, we'll use a 750-8202 as well as a 750-8204 uh, PFC200 controllers. With each of these, we'll be using a 16-channel input and a 16-channel output card, and we'll just get this wired up. To begin, we'll go to the web-based manager on the 8202 controller uh, in order to enable the e-cockpit runtime. What you'll do is navigate to PLC runtime and general configuration. Here it'll ask you for a username and password. And then you select e-runtime and submit the change. This will convert the controller to an e-cockpit controller rather than a Codasys 2 controller. Uh, that's all that needs to be done in web-based management. Now we'll open up eCockpit software. There are several different ways to open projects, but we'll start with an empty project. Now one of the features of eCockpit is the integrated hardware catalog you'll see on the right. Uh, we could select a controller manually, but for this we'll uh, actually use the network scanning so first we'll go to settings and we'll make sure that our IP address range is set. Uh, once we accept that, we'll click scan and we'll scan our network for existing controllers. Now when this is complete, you'll see that it returns both controllers, the 8202 and the 8204. Um, we could select uh, either one of these or we can just select all, which we'll do here. Next, we'll scan the controllers for the I.O. module. So if you right click and click scan, uh, it will return the I.O. modules that are present on the controller and we'll do that for both of these. Now what we'll have to do is assign the I.O. Um, if you double click on the hardware it'll give you a uh, hardware breakout and what we'll want to do is navigate to the outputs and for this test we're just going to create a variable called myoutword uh, myoutword8202 uh, which is a word value um, <coughs> This could break out to the uh, bits, but for now we're just going to command the word. We'll assign that to both the 8202 and the 8204. And now quickly we'll just go create a little program. Um, we'll start with the 8202 and we'll use the variable that we created for the output word, um, my outword 8202, um, and we're just going to increment this up one. Now what's really neat is we can just copy this and paste it directly into the 8204. We'll just change the variable name and we're good to go. So once we've done this, now we can select both uh, programs and we can actually download both of these to the controllers um, if we select them together by holding shift and we'll right click, we'll connect, um, and it will ask if we'd like to download the program. We'll have to answer this question for both PLCs. Now our program is on the controller. Uh, we could go to run mode, but the run switch is actually in the uh, stop position. So you can see when we switch the switch on either controller, um, they're operating. Thank you very much for watching.